Hey Trooper Lovers, it's me, Monkey Dragon here, and uh, the topic of today's video is Fallout 4 announcement trailer is here. And with that, let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so first off I want to say I am so pumped from this trailer. I've probably watched it, god, I don't know, at least 11 times so far. Um, and that's also kind of including going back and watching for different things. So anyways, uh, this video is basically going to be kind of an announcement, you know, for you guys to definitely go watch the trailer yourself down in the description. And uh, it's also going to be a breakdown, and I'm going to show you a few of the things that I think kind of stand out to me and I would like to point out to you guys and get you guys' thoughts and opinions on the game. And uh, yeah, let's go and start this thing. I'm going to be skipping ahead a few seconds here um, just to get rid of the black screen and stuff and kind of just get it going and whatnot. Um, for the majority part, there's nothing really going on here in the beginning. It's mostly just it a whole bunch of re-roll, just things rolling on, um, nothing really too exciting, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit here, um, I'll fast forward for you guys, you guys can always watch it, um, the actual video down in the description, just a whole bunch of cinematic shots, setting you up, kind of giving you a feel for what the game looks like and everything, um, it's a pretty cool, but uh, for the most part, I don't think that we really need to watch it right now, so yeah, <laughs> now that we're getting up here to um, the actual little glimpses and flashes of things that what I think is important, um, one of them is right here, and I just wanted to first point out that this is kind of our first images of power armor and some of the weapons that are going to be in the game. We can still see that the machine gun or the, you know, the super heavy gun is in the game. I can't make out what that gun is. I'm assuming that it's an energy weapon based on the fact that there's yellow right there because that's how the energy packs were in the old games. Um, but that's one of my first little assumptions there. Then we get the war never changes here. And we get the first glimpse of the vault that we're going to be in. It's a uh, 111, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, yeah, it's the vault that we're in. And uh, right here is the first kind of visual of, like, in-game us coming out of the vault. We're all blinded. That's what happens, like, every single time that you do play the game. And uh, right here, we get the very first cinematic shot of our layout. It's going to be right here from the beginning of the game, which just looks awesome. And I want to talk about just, like, all the particles and everything that's going on there and how everything looks awesome. And I also want to say that the game probably won't look like this. For most of the part, this just seems like a cinematic trailer where they're going to be, you know, cranking everything up, making sure that, you know, the anti-aliasing and um, all the amazing effects and particles and fog is just really ratcheted up to make sure the game looks amazing. Um, Bethesda isn't really known for being kind of a dick or anything. Like, praise be to Bethesda. I absolutely love them. They're awesome. Um, I'm just going to assume that the game won't look like this. It'll look good. But I doubt there'll be this many particles and stuff going on in the game because it'll make everyone lag. And, uh, yeah, let's go and keep on going. Um, just more cinematic shots of building and everything on Spaceship. <laughs> One thing that I wanted to point out here, which I think is amazing, and I hope that's in the game, um, is these, like, real-time lighting effects, which I just think is awesome. Because right here we see that we get some thunder going on in the background and how it lights up the buildings and there's a whole bunch of different shadows and everything. I think that just looks really good. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get these kind of lighting effects in the game. Once again, um, depending on how much power that we're going to get out of our systems. Because it is an open world RPG, so it'll be pretty freaking crazy if we can actually run all these amazing things that they're showing us. If they do, then freaking hands off to you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Um, next scene, obviously, <laughs> it doesn't really look like much here, but we do get to see that there is going to be the, oh, the tra the trading caravans, I forget the name, it's probably a different company, um, but yeah, we get to see that they're in the game, that's pretty cool, and this is one of the first points that I want to make out about some of the characters that we see here, um, when I first seen this image, I thought, like, oh, cool, we get Brotherhoods of Steel walking around, but as you see them kind of move around, it doesn't really look like they are Brotherhood of Steel, like, um, um, the shoulder pads and the helmet here and this guy kind of statured in the shadow makes him look like he's Brotherhood of Steel. But the guy walking next to him, he's very normal, as if he gets normal clothes on and whatnot. And this guy's kind of torso down, just looks like normal clothes. And I just wanted to point that out and I'll carry on to that point later into the video. Um, robots, sand crabs, shadows. Oh, this is what I'm really excited for. This is awesome. I don't believe this to be a death claw, although it really looks like one. It's hard for me to tell with all the things that are on there. It really truly looks like a death claw. I'm going to assume that it is one, or maybe it's like a, a different variant based on time and location and everything. And something that I want to point out here is this looks very radioactive. If you guys remember that, um, that mission that we had to do in Fallout New Vegas, where we had to go to the radioactive town because the Legion like detonated, or they did something. I think they opened up vats of radiation or something like that. I forget the exact nature of it. It's been a while since I played that mission. Um, 
but the ground here looks all irradiated so that'll be pretty interesting if there's like irradiated zones where like that's where we'll find the death claws and everything like that because as you can see the ground looks very distorted and murky and just like green and gross and stuff and the the whole surrounding area just looks very heavily irradiated so that'll be cool if we get little pockets like that um another little ship which is really cool and uh and in this scene i think is really really awesome for a lot of reasons one I think these people are probably going to replace, uh, replace the ghouls that we're used to because they don't look like ghouls to me. Um, ghouls, for the most part, were just people with like defective skin. When I first seen this, I thought I had like flashbacks to zombies and whatnot because these people are pretty smooth. If you look at them, for the most part, smooth skins. Uh, <laughs> references. And I don't know if they are going to be our replacement for ghouls or if they are ghouls, but for me, it, it didn't look like ghouls when I seen these faces. It looked... I don't know how else to describe it. I, I'm going to guess that maybe they are some type of ghouls. Maybe they could be a different subset of them or something. I'm not really sure. Um, they're definitely not glowing ones, I'll tell you that much. But, yeah, just wanted to point that out. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, another thing in this um, this image right here. I'm assuming that this is going to be a sediment based on, you know, the way it looks. It looks like it's going to be a town. But what I want to point out is the symbol. I didn't know if that's going to be some sort of, like, faction in a way or if that's going to be some way of just saying that it's this building that's their name or something maybe it's like the star town or something but i didn't know if they were gonna have like factions or something it could be interesting like a brotherhood of steel type of um a faction in the game um right here i love this this is one of the things that i really loved when i played skyrim was the open markets because in fallout 3 it was kind of annoying when you go to sell things because you would pretty much have to go into each individual building when you were selling things and it makes selling things really hard or you know just annoying more time consuming whereas in Skyrim there's open markets where there was just tons of things going on and you were able to you know go here for this guy and get the potions here and all that kind of stuff for the most part there's a lot of open um, concession areas where you have to buy whatever you want so from what I can see here that's what this looks like and I think it looks pretty freaking awesome not to mention the awesome looking bat <laughs> that's amazing best bat in the world um, another interesting thing that I want to point here, granted there's these really nice lighting effects here with the, with the lightning and all that kind of stuff. Um, they've made a lot of references to the, the helicopters here. I don't know if we're going to be able to fly or what the hell's going on, or if this is just a cinematic shot that has to do something with a storyline where we're hiding somewhere or something like that. I don't know. Um, they're making a lot of these ships appear in these things and they got a random freaking flying, like, attack blimp here. Which is, what the hell? But, okay, I guess we'll let that be. Another shot of us flying. <laughs> There's a lot of flying shots. Oh, and this shot is amazing. It just really makes the game look beautiful. And I just wanted to once again say, I don't know if the game will look this beautiful when we get it. Like, I doubt Bethesda is going to screw us because Bethesda is God. But, man, that shot that shot looks amazing. It's, it's really cool looking and I like it a lot. Ah, a lot of death here. Here's where everyone blows up and, uh... All the sadness begins. Mm. And here comes some of the most important information that we get in the in the, uh, the game right now. It's boom. I want to pause it right here in the beginning before the dog gets into the frame. A few things, and I think a lot of things, and this is where a lot of things are going to be coming important. Um, one, we can see there's a minigun underneath here. Um, we can see a lot of the few energy weapons that we had in the past. And these three, which I don't recognize myself, so maybe this is signifying that there's going to be new ones. And if you guys see, there's um, like tongs and duct tape and other tool-like equipment around. So I'm going to assume that there are is going to be like craftable weapons and I'll get into a little bit more into that later and show you a little bit more evidence but maybe we're able to craft some weapons and build some things and uh, one of the other major things that I wanted to talk about is this power suit right here it's it's not like an official Brotherhood of Steel power suit it looks very thrown together someone built it themselves and if you guys remember um, back in the other image that I showed you when we talked about it I think maybe people are building these suits themselves so maybe we're able to customize them instead of only having you know like the heavy set the stealth suit and then you know like the average one or something maybe we'll be able to build our own paladin suits which will be pretty freaking awesome so uh yeah, that's something else I wanted to point out. Another thing is there's bobbleheads in here. If you guys don't remember from um, Fallout 3, that's how we increase, like, our specials. You know, um, our... Yeah, what is it? Um, intelligence, acrobatics, uh, all those things. Strength! Ah, oh, that's what the S was. I was thinking of S was skills for some reason. But yeah, strength and all those kind of things. So I'm not too sure if that's going to also apply. Um, and also we have these comic book here... Um, we have these comic book here... 
So I'm not sure if that's always going to hint to where we're going to be able to improve our stats as well, which would be really freaking awesome. So I'm excited for a lot of the things that are shown here, and I think it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that'd be cool if we'd be able to build our own paladins. That'd be pretty freaking awesome. And of course, here's our first glimpse of our character and his vault suits and everything like that. There's a dog, and we obviously get the suit, um, everything right there. Oh, and here's, oh no, I wanted to pause it there. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes there's issues. Okay, so here's the other thing that I want to build up about custom weapons. If you guys look at this weapon, it looks like a standard, like, BB rifle that we would get out of the gate, you know, like a 22 rifle. But here it looks like he has, like, a custom scope on it, and it looks like there's an energy rifle, like, duct taped to it, if you can kind of see it there. Or, I don't know, the, the whole stock and everything there looks as if it's, like, a normal rifle, and there's an energy weapon just attached to it or something. It looks very interesting. I don't know if this means we're going to be able to build our own custom weapons in a way or something, but I've never seen this gun before, and it definitely doesn't look like it was a stock thing. It looks very handmade, so that's why I wanted to say maybe we're also able to build custom weapons. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it from it, guys. That's that's the whole trailer here. Um, that's everything I was able to derive from it. If you guys spotted anything that I didn't catch, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, lastly, what did you guys think of this trailer? I'm so excited for this game. I can't wait for it to come out. It is going to be amazing. Oh, I love Bethesda and Fallout and Elder Scrolls. All those things are just ah, awesome. They have taken many hours of my life and uh i'm willing to give fallout 4 many more so uh yeah i'm lucky jungle guys that's all i really got peace